Hey folks, it's Brian and it's time for another uh, video in my Jeep build from a salvage totaled out Jeep. Anyway, uh, check out the playlist, Jeep build. Um, that's how I organize all the videos related to this project. Very quickly, if you like the video, please hit like. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to find out when they come out, hit that bell icon. So this is video number 73. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna install the exhaust downpipe and connect it to the muffler. And I think that's I, I think that's the last thing I gotta do down there. And then I can start putting the top end together. I very intentionally left this fender well off because this is a pain in the ass to work in. And it's gonna be a lot easier if um, I can just reach in here as opposed to having to reach way up while I'm laying on my back. But first, let's get the exhaust pipe out because it's been hiding over in the corner of my shop back here for over a year. Um, anyway, let, let's see where it's at. There it is. So uh, let me get some gloves and let me dig this damn thing out of here. And then I can start trying to figure out how it actually went back. It was a pain in the ass to get it out. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get it back in, I think. But you'll see, and I'll find out. So, be right back. Oh, and it's yet another day of over 100 degree temperatures in Houston, and thank God, I got an air conditioner. I mean, you know, it's only like 85 in here, so it's certainly not going to turn this thing into a cooler, but it beats the heck out of being outside in the heat. So anyway, let me get my gloves on. I'm gonna fish this out. Let's get started. All right, well, first things first, let's find a way to get to it. That doesn't seem so bad. steel so uh everything looks pretty good here so let me uh slide this under there and i'll meet you guys back downstairs <laughs> Traffic jam here. Uh, I gotta reposition the camera. Okay. Son of a bitch. Um, the skin plate is what's causing me to. So I'm gonna see if I can. plate in this and my recollection I had to drop the skid plate last time partially um I just it just doesn't fucking fit um let's see and the pumpkin's in the way um it's just getting past the transmission and I don't see a way to make this fit so um, all right, what's the lesser of the available evils? So I 
think jacking up this side of the vehicle I might be able to make this work so let me try that real quick So there's two options. One is to jack up the vehicle. Um, this is the simplest. The other is to lower the transfer or the skid plate. So we're gonna have to drop this side of the skid plate. So let me work on that. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna support the transmission underneath the uh, mount. That's that's where it should be supported. And then we're gonna just these three bolts. Okay, so let's see what this takes us. Maybe enough. It may not. have this jacked way the fuck up when I did this so let me let me see what I can do again if this was on a lift this wouldn't be a problem
Let's try again. So what I'm doing is bringing the uh, front corner all the way up. All right, let me see if that created the clearance that I need. So I'm actually going to put blocks under here and I'm going to raise both sides of the front. Uh, plugged in but I'm gonna pull the support plug out of the way um, I'm packing it by the uh, lower control arm attachment points these blocks. Let me go see if I can find it. lock it in place in the back too. I just don't feel good about getting under it without it locked in place. So we are against one of the jack stands in the back. That's good. I ain't gonna roll over the jack stand. came out last time. Oh, I don't like that. 
like being under here, but it is what it is. camera mount. This is such a shitty design and it doesn't have to be this way one more fucking join in here and this wouldn't be so difficult What I'm trying to do is engage that bracket. There we go. Oh, fuck off. All right. Okay. So, next, we've got to get this. Oh, man, why is... Oh, fuck that. All right, I gotta go to the back. Uh, the muffler is in the way again. is I just took the damn muffler off. Uh, it was the rubber hinges were causing me problems. And that's where it's going to go. So what I first need to do is get one bolt in here to just hold this up. Well, I 
had it for a minute. people would make this a lot easier. But like everything else, I'll get it. Maybe not on the first try but I will get it. I'm gonna get a strap because that'll be my extra set of hands. It's 
be higher up. <laughs> I probably can fix that. this up to the front. Take some of the slack out of this. from our goal, but we're not a lot closer to it either. Uh, I do have one bent uh, bolt, so I won't be installing all of them. Um, not sure, I'll have to hunt for this bolt because it looks special. predicted having the fender off is making this substantially easier than it otherwise might have been. All right, got one started. I'm just gonna have to get my hands dirty. Uh, the exhaust is tearing up my gloves. I'm sweating like a pig in church. And I just... Part of it's these shitty uh, nut things that are on here. All right, so that one's that one's good in.
Let's go back and do the other one now. So this is going to need to be tightened with, if not with a ratchet, then certainly with an extension. Um, so that's what I'm going to stick up in here now. Uh, it's 15, but it isn't that. Tight. Now we're just going to bring it close. on but can't see all right so
again, it's just it's shredding my gloves. They're not very nice gloves to begin with, so really easily shredded. Um, I gotta research if this is a special bolt or if any bolt will work. Alright, so I'm winching this up into place. If I had help, I would um, simply have somebody push it up, but I'm by myself as usual, so it's alright, we'll get through it. Um, Goodness, I just had like a monkey. <sighs> All right, let me go find a ratchet for that. So the other bolt is bent, and I'm not going to put it back in, but it is an M10 one and a half by 45. And we're fixing to find out if we can use a different bolt. I'm going to try. wants like 15 bucks a bolt for these and I think that's just excessive um. alright we will try doing this one from underneath I think this is going to burn the Loctite out, but we're going to try. Um, I think the exhaust is way hotter than Loctite's upper temperature. I'm gonna need a flex, so let me grab that. I'll be right back. I got this. I have a really nice uh, CV joint style um, flex.
me try a wobble. Having a bunch of tools gives you a bunch of options. Yeah, this might be it right here. switch and do the other side. I'll explain what's going on here in a minute. So the flange is bent right here. Uh, although it's pretty pretty damn good at this point. So I'm going to run the other one up. Now the other one is just a normal bolt. I just want to see if it's going to fit. If it does, I can give a shit. it will. Ah, this one's going to need a wobble as well. Where the fuck did it go? And of course I've shredded a pair of gloves worthy. So I might as well take them off because all they're doing is collecting sweat at this point. So, it's not tight, um, but it's pretty tight. So I've still got a little wobble, and that's fine, because I need to get the uh, muffler connected, and... So we're, we're good at this stage. Um, let me shift the camera, plug it back in. We'll work on the back of the Jeep and hopefully we'll have the exhaust in. All right, so for my next magic trick, I'm going to connect the muffler. Uh, and hopefully this won't be that big of a pain in the ass. But, you know, it is a Jeep. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you too.
right, so one's in. <laughs> Motherfucker. I mean, if you were trying to design this to be difficult to reach, this is it. Let me see if I can get to it from the other side. And it doesn't have to be this difficult. The only reason it's this difficult is because Jeep didn't think through actually working on the fucking vehicle. So you gotta stick your hands in places they can get crushed if something bad was to happen. Oh, fucking pain in the ass. Now, if you take the skid plate off, admittedly, there is access to this spot. But you shouldn't have to take the skid plate off every time you want to fucking do maintenance on something. Okay, so what I need to do at this point is I need to rehang the muffler. it's in another location where you can't fucking see anything. Alright, so that one's in. There's three rubber mounts back here. The first one was the hardest to get in. And these two should be relatively easy. Uh... Looks good. So now what I'm going to do is crawl around the other side and try to tighten these. Ah, fucker. Now I think this one's pretty straightforward. get a deep socket for these.
gloves keep just snapping. I think I got a bad box. And you know, at three dollars a, a box, I didn't give a shit. At nine dollars a box, ah, uh, that's just irritating. Ready to torque this, so let me get my uh, torque wrench. This is a 21 foot pound torque back here, uh, which is in the grand scheme of things, not yet. Good plate back in place. Sorry, the most convenient place for the uh, camera was on the jack handle, so eh, whatever. So we need to lower this just a smidge. Thank you. 
torque. it did it feels like it shifted um, looks like it shifted that's fucking annoying <laughs> Good. Surprises. 
taking so much force. torque value is on this. Okay, it is 55 foot-pounds and I've gone ahead and got my torque rack set up. We're going to get these tight. We're right about there. And these go to 23 foot pounds. And, but not with this one. I double check them because sometimes they'll shift a little more. All right. Now that one's going to need some work, but let's see if we can get the companion bolt first. 
Uh, I got a bent flange on this side, on that inside one, so and that one's gonna need a rocker or a wobbly extension. Going to that one from the top. I suppose we don't need the strap anymore, so let's get this out of here. Not going to take it completely apart, but that's all right. A little bit longer. So I'm just going to move to a longer wobbly. And I'm sure glad that the fender is out of here. not right there. Let me uh, figure out what's going on with this bolt. No, nope, it is the right size. we're having some fit issues here which I don't know we'll work through it That's not perfect, but it's probably okay. Now, on this side, 
I've got to beat that one back. So the issue is um, this flange got bent right there. So I'm gonna see if I can unbend it in a most not nice way. that could be a problem.
Hmm. Yeah, the issue is I need to unbend that and I'm just having a hard time getting to it. Um, shouldn't be this difficult, but should have done this before it went in and I honestly I completely forgot about it. Damn it. Because the uh, fender's not in, I can actually get vice grips in here. That might fix it right there. Let me see if I bend it out of the way. Well, that bent that side, but that's not the side that I got the problem with. All right. Just get in a hold of it. change back. opening in the weak spot. It requires crawling in here where I'd rather not be. Something's not the way something else is.
Oh, we need to have an exhaust leak. This is just like a really difficult spot to get to. The good news is nobody will try to steal the catalytic converter because they won't be able to get to it. This is a 
great example of what happens when you build a vehicle and you don't think about like how to work on it. the Jeep back down. Uh, Y'all are looking at it. Oh, nothing. Sorry. God damn it. I'm out. Okay, hopefully you guys can see what I'm working on is right here. Again, I'm sorry I didn't uh, fix this before I put the fucking exhaust pipe in, but I'm trying to avoid taking it back out. Um... I just don't have a whole lot of clearance in here. And it's not difficult, I just don't have the clearance. I wonder if I uh, took it down and turned it around if it would change. so let's try it. Uh, where the fuck is the other socket? There it is.
sure this is how this came out of here too. And scream at this camera around. Let me move this where y'all can finally. I'm so sorry this thing keeps shifting and I don't realize it. socket on the right direction it might actually engage head on backwards This needed to be two mini cats with zero clearance between them.
Now, I'm going to put my weird bolt on the good ear. And if I could have, I would have really liked to replace this ear. But I don't think that's easy to do. This is probably the orientation that it was in. This is probably how it got bent. It fell against the engine mount. Or the frame. And yes, yeah, shame on me. This is something that I could and should have fixed prior. fix this other piece and let's slide this over where we can see the problem all right well we'll be back under there to loosen that in a minute um so there's a couple things that have to happen um first and foremost it has to be pretty immobilized in order to bend it i think that's it right there And it's just it's a steering linkage that's that's killing me I don't have any room to move around it Let's see where that takes us. I feel like. Ooh. Oh, yeah. 
regardless of what I feel like, it looks like shit. So let's loosen this side and see what happens when we try to tighten the other side. that's exceedingly good to abuse in this kind of situation is a crescent wrench. This one's big enough to do what I want. Alright, well let's just start with the big boy. need a smaller one. So I brought several different sizes with me to see what I can get in here. feels like progress. Thank <laughs> you. 
and I don't have enough swing with the little one. Or the, I don't, I, uh, the, the medium one doesn't really fit right. Let's see if the little one can do anything. screws that are this size. M10 one and a half cap screws, kind of big. But there's not a ton of torque on this, and this is really a better application for a cap screw or let me look around. This is not long enough, but we're going to see what happens. Um, I have an M10 1.5-35, which is what I think should have been in here in the beginning because it's immune to this particular problem that this one has. But first, I got to get this out of here. this won't work and if that's the case I'll either have to go get or wait for an M10 one and a half 45 but I think a 35 can be made to work actually it's a 30 so it's it's a third shorter but again I think it'll work and it'll engineer this fucking problem out uh, almost worth if, if I was further back in the project, I'd probably just order four of these and, and be done with it. Let me find an Allen wrench for this. Oh, it is a 35. Let's just see what happens here. Mm -hmm. 
but it is not. All right, let me see if we can torque the other one. We can, all right, we can get in here. So let's torque this one. this it's gonna get a it's gonna get a socket cap screw too everybody's gonna get a socket cap screw
All right, well, the best I can do is short. Um, so I might have to order some longer screws and revisit this, and that's just kind of irritating because I really wanted to be done with this today. This one, this one's just obstinate, hard to get to. some more, which is what I'm believing as I sit here and fight with this. Uh, that doesn't feel like it's engaging properly. Mm, yeah, it's not. Let me see if I can get the old bolt back in, because really we're just having shoulder clearance issues. place where we could torque. All right. So all 
I got left is to figure out where the hell that goes, and I'm done. Um, so let me look for that. It was way the hell over here. I don't know what it's doing over here or where it's supposed to really be, but we're going to try and get it connected. get that up there that's gonna have to come down and around ain't no way it was connected behind there apparently uh -huh. that's exactly what's going on all right that's fine at least we know where it's at duck down here and take care of this. What are you fucking talking about? It won't click.
So it's it's together. It just doesn't want to click. Damn it. And it really appears as if should have something it should secure to something but I don't see anything back here for it to secure to look on the transmission and see if there's something there. I don't remember that. Let me look underneath because I don't see anything from the top. anything here either. All right. 